Uh, another way, and probably the most convenient way of creating a Spring Boot project is using the IDE itself. And this is specifically the Spring Tool Suite. Uh, if you're using Spring Tool Suite, this is a no-brainer. This is how you would typically create a Spring Boot project. It's the easiest way to do it. So it's just like creating a new project in Eclipse, but here, since it's a Spring Tool Suite, when you right-click on the Package Explorer and choose New, you have a couple of more options. So I'm going to choose the Spring Starter Project option. So I'm creating a new Spring Starter Project. And now here I can provide the typical Maven coordinates. I'm just going to call this Temp uh, for now, and I'll leave the defaults. And I click on Next. Now here it gives me the same set of options that you have. you must be familiar with from the Spring Initializer. So here it lets me choose the Spring Boot version. And here are the dependencies that I can choose from. You remember the checkboxes in the web UI in Spring Initializer. This is very similar to that. So here in this case, I'm gonna choose web and uh, I'll choose the web option. And you can, you can choose more if you'd like. And uh, once you're done with your selection of all your, uh, you know, the dependencies that you need, click on next. And then here is the zip file. And uh, as you can see, it's still leveraging the same start.spring.io. Uh, and I click on finish. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna get that zip file, download it, extract it, and then open it as a project in the ID. So it's even more convenient. Rather than have it be two steps, you just do that in one step and you have like a complete Spring Boot application. Uh, with the right dependencies in the palm.xml. Again, these things should be familiar. It's just a new way of creating the same project, but using the IDE uh, UI. So this is pretty handy. I'm not gonna go into the details again. This is pretty much the same as what you would be doing if you were using the Spring Initializer. And again, it's the Spring Initializer that's backing this functionality. It's just that the UI is using the ID and it's very convenient. So with this in summary, I've shown you four ways of creating a brand new Spring Boot application. First, as a simple Maven project and adding the Spring Boot dependencies manually. Second, using the online tool Spring Initializer, choosing your project in the web UI and clicking download to download the project and then extract and open it in your IDE. The third option is using the Spring command line interface. And the fourth is using the Spring tool suite, using the UI of the IDE to create a new Spring Boot project.